USA Today has released their rankings of all 32 NFL teams, and I'm going to talk about why they got it wrong right here in the Sports Opinion Log in Lex Anderson world. I'm your host, Lex Anderson. So if you're down with all dang sports talk and NFL, I invite you to do the right thing by subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell icon to your right to stay notified for any and all upcoming future videos while I get down to the brass tacks of talking about this video. So like my shovel pass, which is always good for six points, and a point after, unless, of course, you're probably a field goal kicker for the Chicago Bears. Let's talk about what USA Today got wrong. And it's immediate. Number one, New England Patriots, not a problem. They're the defending Super Bowl champs. That's where they should be. But number two, help me out, Brother K, because I know that you and me talk about this every year, the way we've been talking about it for the last, what, two to five years. Why are the Chargers ranked at number two? Phillip Rivers is good for one thing and one thing only, throwing for over 400 yards in a game in which his team will probably lose. Do they not realize that Melvin Gordon is holding out because he wants more money? Why are the Chargers always ranked so high? when they always fall so low. This is how the Chargers' seasons typically starts out. They'll either start the season by winning a lot of games and then end the season losing a lot of games and missing a playoff spot, okay? Or they'll start the season horribly and then win a whole bunch of games only to still fall short of getting a playoff spot. Phillip Rivers, remember the great class, him and Eli, and Big Ben, and what, we're still hoping that Phillip Rivers could lead his team to playoff contention? Keep dreaming. Nothing will ever happen. Hell, they don't even belong in L.A. They should be back in San Diego. They don't even have a fan base, a solid fan base out there in L.A. Ugh, number three, Philadelphia Eagles. This right here is proof that the staff on USA Today don't know what the hell they're talking about. There's team chemistry issues within the Eagles locker room because they believed more in Nick Foles, who was one drop pass away from getting them into the conference finals to play for a Super Bowl. Carson Wentz is injury prone. His personality doesn't mesh well with the team, but yet the Eagles are ranked number three. Makes no sense. Number four, Kansas City Chiefs, who should be number two, honestly, Number five, New Orleans Saints, again, who should be number three. So we're just going to pull back the Chargers, pull back the Eagles. Minnesota Vikings at number six. Again, USA Today. Who's making, who made this list? Do they not realize that Kirk Cousins plays for the Minnesota Vikings at quarterback? That alone says it enough. Because you could go into my NFL videos where I bash Kirk Cousin each and every time I bashed his contract, the $84 million guaranteed. Let's just move on. I'm already disgusted. Number seven, Indianapolis Colts. They should be ranked over the Vikings. Falcons at number eight. Let's see. Show me something. The Falcons. Oh, Julio Jones. Didn't he catch? It didn't take him four to six weeks to even catch a touchdown. Do they not realize that So, AK, Matty Ice, Matt Ryan is a loser? Comes up small in big time moments. 28 and 3, anybody? Like, come on. Falcons should be lower tiered between 12 and 20. Ugh, number nine, Chicago Bears. Again, again, the average margin of victory in the NFL is within 14 points. You need a good field goal kicker. The Bears don't have that. They have great defense. Trubisky clearly will be on the rise, but will it be enough? To me, it's not even enough to consider them top 10, but yet they're, here they are at number nine. And speaking of number 10, the Cleveland Browns. Really? Really? Okay. <laughs> Again, Odell Beckham, for all his talents, is injury prone. He is an egomaniac. He is a narcissist. So will this really work? Will Baker Mayfield, may, hey, maybe they could be like the bad boys of the NFL, a bunch of renegades, you know? Let's not forget, the Browns still have the longest playoff drought in the NFL. They haven't played in one since 2002. And as of me making this video, it's currently 2019 on July 24th. So let's see. Let's note it. Check it off. Uh, number 11, the Rams. 
who should actually be dropped further because we all know the Super Bowl drop-off, the Super Bowl letdown that whether you're a defending champ or you're the second-place loser that no one will care to remember, Todd Gurley, all that money, his arthritic knee, please. The Rams will fall off the face of the earth, to be honest with you. Number 12, Pittsburgh Steelers. Again, that's a question mark, though, because, you know, the Killer Bees are done. No Le'Veon Bell, no Antonio Brown. But again, look at how the Patriots have won with a bunch of no-name players. Can the Steelers pull it off? Can Big Ben regain the trust of his locker room? Can Juju McShuster do what he did minus A.B. on the other side of the field? We'll find out this season. Number 13, San Francisco 49ers. You've got to be kidding me. First of all, they waste all this money with Jimmy G., suffers a knee injury, and you're going to actually place them 13? That makes no sense. 14, Green Bay Packers. Number 15, Cowboys. How do you put the Packers over the Cowboys? The Cowboys should at least be put up a couple of more notches over. Aaron Rodgers, discount double done. He's a one-trick pony. You know how the Packers win games? He rolls out the pocket and throws 40-yard bombs, which he hopes that the stupid defense can't get proper coverage on and that one of his wide receivers catch the ball. That's the makeup of the Packers' offense. Oh, and I I believe that their new offensive guy, yeah, the offense ranked 25th with the tight end. So, uh, uh, okay, sure, right. 16, Seattle Seahawks. What an insult. After giving Russell Wilson all that money, 16th, they should at least be between 12 and 15. Jacksonville Jaguars. Okay, so they got rid of Blake Bortles. That's a plus. They gave all this money to Nick Foles. That's a plus. But Jalen Ramsey reports to training camp in an armored Brinks truck. Ha ha, Davis. Good job on that one. And of course, Jalen Ramsey is going to earn, what, three and a half million this season. The Jaguars picked him up in the fifth year option. So he'll, he'll be earning 13.5. But we'll see where it goes. We'll see. Who's up next here? Jacksonville Jaguars, 18, Tennessee Titans. I'll take it. But Mariota, this is the make-or-break season. He's got to show something or else the Titans have to move on from this guy. Like, I think I've seen enough of his body of work, and there's really nothing to say that he should get long-term quarterback money, honestly. Okay, 18, Baltimore Ravens. To me, as long as you have defense, you will always win games. And that's what the Ravens have always lived by. They did the right thing. They got rid of old-ass Flacco, you know. So the future is bright now for their starting quarterback because it's his helm. Number 20, Carolina Panthers. Do the Panthers even have a wide receivers core? Cam Newton, the surgically repaired shoulder. Will he be the Superman? Will he be back to 100%? We'll find out. But I don't think it's worth giving him the top 20. Okay, so going down, 21 Buffalo Bills, 22 New York Jets. The Jets are cursed, first and foremost. Sorry, Jet fans, that's that's just the way I feel. That's just the way it goes. I look for Le'Veon Bell. Well, I'm not going to call injury on anybody, but karma will come and extract her revenge from Le'Veon Bell and his attitude. Uh, 23 Houston Texans. Now, how do the Texans go below the Jets? That makes no sense. Oakland Raiders. Below the Texans, that makes sense because John Gruden should have never been given the head coaching job to begin with. I'm just going to say it like that. And, you know, they still have Derek Carr, who I'm sure they're hoping that they could dump off on another team. We'll see about that. 24, sorry, 25 Buccaneers, 26 Giants, 27 Broncos, 28 Arizona Cardinals, 29 Detroit Lions, who will never be anything. And then Redskins at 30, Bengals at 31, and Dolphins at 32. Honestly, I think that because Eli's still quarterback, the Giants should occupy that spot. But you tell me. Drop a comment below. Let me know how you feel. Special shout-out to my IGTV family. Those are the rankings. That's how I feel. USA Today did a horrible job. Let me know. Lex Anderson, signing out.